Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to document the creation of a free battery cat toy. It's free battery because I'm using 9 volts that were removed from smoke detectors. Technically the batteries are expired, but there's plenty of life left in them to run the small laser diode. This simple circuit uses a potentiometer to compensate for the dying battery. The only issue you may have is that when you first start using it, you're going to have to calibrate the brightness. I would suggest just bright enough to see is probably a right level. The laser diodes came from eBay where a pack of 10 sells for less than $2. The toy was modeled as four parts in Fusion 360. The body, the cover, the lens holder, and the knob. So first I want to discuss the uh, what I did with the box here. And I found that I uh, recessed the type and I filled the area with uh, a very bright, strong exterior uh, white paint. It's a latex designed for painting like your front door. And I just filled the hole, did a couple of coats, and, uh, and then I polished the whole surface. The paint is actually uh, one millimeter deep, and then I tried to polish the 3D printed material. And it's not as a uh, not as smooth as I like. You really can't polish up 3D printed. It, it, it has a roughness. So next time what I would have to do is I would have to uh, fill it and uh, sand it and then uh, polish it. So I'd probably have a, a black filler, polish it up and then uh, paint it and then polish it again. So, it's uh, probably a lot more work than it's worth. But anyway, here's a 3D printed box. I printed a boss in there to space back my potentiometer. This opening is to hold the battery in place. So to build this up, I've pre-wired this. So the uh, potentiometer goes in here. push button goes in here. And then have them all wired together. The knob has been 3D printed to fit exactly over. The, uh, the laser light has been put into this little boss here. And uh, it's a very tight fit on there will be uh, will be glued in place. That's a nice fit right now. So I'll, I'll put a drop of, uh, of glue on that. And, uh, four screws have been uh, countersunk into the back. So uh, they'll go down flush. So we'll check our 9 volt battery. And it's reading it's reading a lot higher than it has to read. This is designed to use a worn out battery. So I'll turn this down. Okay, it seems to be working fine. And the, uh, the knob allows you to compensate as the battery wears down. So always start low on a new, on a new used battery and then keep turning it up until uh, you drain the battery completely. Pack all the wires in neatly. Here you 
have your used battery cap toy. And don't forget, all lasers can be dangerous, so don't point this in anyone's eyes and make sure not to overtire your cat. Well, thanks for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And don't forget, all the electronic parts shown and the 3D printer files will be linked below.